All right, everyone, we got a treat today. I'm gonna to be unboxing the ESP LTD V for Kirk Hammett in Black Sparkle. Oh, oh let's get into it. Oh, jeez Louise, look at that. So for the specs, we've got Nectar construction, a 25 and a half inch scale length, the body wood is made out of Corina, and the neck is three pieces of maple. Our fingerboard is made out of Maxar Ebony, and we've got 24 extra jumbo frets. The neck contour shape is called Extra Thin U, and that checks out with it being as thin as the thinnest of my other guitars, which at this point I believe is the Majesty. For the tuners, we've got LTD locking tuners, which is a nice bonus. The bridge is by Tone Pros. It's a locking tunematic style with string through through the body. And then for the pickups, we've got two EMG bone breakers. So one in the neck, one in the bridge. In terms of the electronics layout, we've got a volume knob, a tone knob, and a three-way toggle, so keeping things pretty simple. And the guitar comes standard with the hard shell case from ESP. Okay, so let's check this thing out in a mix. I've written a little demo track in the style of Metallica, complete with some pentatonic solos and some wah. Enjoy!
So now for the final verdict. I've had this guitar for a couple of months now and I've got nothing but good things to say about the way it plays. I haven't personally made any set of changes to the guitar since receiving it. The original strings are still on there since the intonation seemed fine. The tuning was slightly off, but that's to be expected when you get a new guitar. And the action's nice and low. It stays in tune perfectly well, there's no sharp fret ends, and the neck is really comfortable. Also, there's no neck dive while standing and playing, so that's great. I also love that it's super lightweight. The choice of bodywood must have really helped on this one as it feels light as a feather. I have this small little footstool that I bought off of Amazon that I use when I'm playing sitting down. These footstools are pretty essential for all flying B-shaped guitars. With the stool, playing sitting down is perfectly comfortable. The only complaint I have with this guitar is the lack of stainless steel frets. These days, most guitar manufacturers are providing stainless steel frets at lower price points than the Kirkhammer V here, which only has nickel frets. The main disadvantage with nickel frets being that they're softer than stainless steel, so you might start wearing them down after 5 years of play if you play really rough, or 15 to 20 years if you've got a lighter touch. It really depends on your playstyle, so if you are a little bit more aggressive, maybe look for a guitar with stainless steel frets instead. But from a playing perspective, it's an absolute dream to play. I find myself gravitating towards this guitar out of my collection the most, with maybe the Majesty coming second. Though when you consider the price point of the Majesty, yeah, I'll say this guitar is definitely punching well above its weight. So thank you for checking out this review. I'll be uploading some covers with this guitar in the near future. Check for links in the description or in the little card section just above. And have a wonderful day.